Hello, hi guys, my name is Sarvansh and thank you for watching my the other video about MDE tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm back with the new video about your the login account setup in Defender, like how you can set up your Defender account or how you can utilize your the free account in the Defender. And even if you are in the production, so how you can set up your the Defender account. So let me start this video. So here I have some content about the 30 days free login access in MEM console. So if you need the free access in the MEM console, you have to watch my the Intune tutorial video number five. So why it is important MEM console because entire defender uh, antivirus will access through your um, your MEM console only and uh, then we are going to assign a license to that account which you have created like we need a E3 or E5 license to access our the Microsoft defender and in in this account like uh, um, it will go with the two plans like p1 and the p2 plan so if you have not watched by the mde video uh, video number two so you can go and watch that video so you will be uh, clear with the plan p1 and p2 plan so these two plans and what type of license is required in, in your p1 and the p2 plan then we're going to set up your the defender connectors and accounts and uh, then we'll log in with the MEM console and uh, the Microsoft 365 security uh, Microsoft 365 defender so validate the connectors and finally when we've done all those steps we'll validate our the connectors and the account in MEM console so let me start uh, now let me go to the Intune console uh, okay so before this let me show you here I have the video about your the plan p1 and p2 plans and your the license which type of license you need to con or to log in in your the defender console or the defender endpoint protection and here is a video about uh, how you can just uh, con uh, con and to understand your the uh, 90 days free trial so actually it is this 30 days free trial okay so I have here a uh, here is a blocks on the my website and user supports.com so this will walk through how you can set up your free trial for the Intune console MEM console so you can follow this uh, blocks uh, it's a uh, it's well defined and it will walk through how you can configure or how you can get the access for your free trial account so now let us back to our the Intune console here and uh, let's try to set up our the console connector in between the MEM and and the Microsoft 365 defender console so this is the option Microsoft security where we are going to create all the policies related to Microsoft Defender so or you can say this is the place to manage Microsoft endpoint security oh sorry Microsoft Defender for endpoints so here we are going to create all the policies and from here we will be managing our Defender for endpoints so to configure to set up this let us go with the Microsoft Defender for endpoints and from here we are going to set up our the account and now here is the connection status is showing um, unknown so we need to we have to uh, set up this the connector so now allow the Microsoft Defender endpoint security the endpoint configuration so let us uh, on this and uh, let us go to okay so now let us go here open the microsoft defender endpoint console let me go here and uh, just click so it will open your the security.microsoft.com uh, from this place we will be managing all the indicators alerts uh, the advanced hunting which we are writing the kql queries to pull the data uh, reports so anything related to reports pulling data or getting the information about your the virus infection so everything will be tracked by this console and this console is to is for all your Microsoft 365 Defender just not only for the Defender for endpoints uh, from here you can manage your the other Defender also which is comes under the Microsoft 365 Defender family 
so that I explained in my the last two videos how many types defenders are available so when we are working so we should not be get any confusion okay we'll walk through it later let me go here and just set up your the free trial account create a free trial account for the defender for endpoints so let me go here and open this console so here is like a window is open microsoft defender for endpoint just free trial so let me go for this and we're going to set up a free trial account for our um, defender for endpoints so thank you for choosing microsoft defender for endpoints p2 trial okay so it is by default it selected the p2 trial why it is because uh, in my the intune console already having e5 license activated so if you have the e5 license activate on your account like you can see it is admin.uscloud.com so with this account already e5 license is activated and when you have the e5 license so automatically it will move it to the p2 trial let me go to the next and let's set up our defender console account Okay, so now it's asking for the login. So let me log in here with my the cloud account. And just let me skip this. Okay, so here is the pop-up like the Microsoft Defender for P2 trial for the three month item 25 users. So it's giving you for the three month trial for 25 users. So you can manage the three, uh, sorry, 25 users for the next three month trial. So let me go try now and we'll configure it. Okay, so now we are in the, in the next screen, the order, order receipt the order number is this and the continue and it will be like a trial version for your three months and maximum users you can create at 25 users for testing purpose okay now it's open your the microsoft admin center but this process will follow when you are totally new in your the intune and the defender but when in your company is already configured the setups, then no need to perform this action. So directly you will be having the access for your Microsoft 365 Defender and the Intune. So you can click here and you can utilize the policy. Okay, so it's asking for the save. Uh, okay, I think I have not saved it. Let me go and just saved it. So, but this process is related to only for your uh lab purpose but when you are in the production so obviously your architect or or you are the owner the product owner they set up uh, already they have to set up this accounts and this is the one time job only so once you've done it you do not need to again and again do it okay so guys that's all from here we have the intune console we have the account so if you see in this account it's already it was with the e5 license so if you are not following this process that also well and good so if you do not want to go with this process that also fine because indirectly this will create an uh, a, a license key or, or the license for your the account and it will add it so where it going to add let me see here so license and apps under the license and app you can see the the which type of license you have so we have the e5 license and, uh, and under the e5 license you can see in it's the microsoft defender for endpoints microsoft defender for endpoints it's added here as well and it's uh, it should be the part of here as well okay so under the e5 license i just got it like a, a p uh, this is um not yeah azure protection and this i have uh, not get the microsoft defender for endpoints so this is a separate license so now you select this and assign this license so once you assign this license you need to refresh your console again so your 
Microsoft Defender for Endpoints license will activate on your account. So now let me save this change. And we are good with this part about the licensing. And this is the console portal.office.com or you can access the admin.microsoft.com as well. Both our links are working in the same way. So now we need to refresh this console and even though we have to refresh this console as well. So now we have the license P2 plan license activated on our this console. So let me just refresh this and refresh this as well about the security center. So once you refreshed it, might it will take a couple of minutes to configure it completely. But once you done it, your uh, Defender for Endpoints will work for you. And let me go just check the settings. What is showing under the settings? Okay, so still the license is not showing here for the Microsoft Defender for Endpoints, but soon it will show here. So as you are seeing is the Security Center, Defender and the Microsoft Defender for Endpoints also will show here. So might it will take a couple of minutes to reflect here. Let us go and just check out. Oh, I think we need to wait to refresh this. My uh, my console is very slow now. So it will update and it will show you here about your the settings. So here if you see in this screen that connector is working in the back end and it will pulling the data. So once it activate or once it done, then you can see in the Microsoft Defender for endpoints under the settings. And after that, uh, once that this process is done, then this connector status will shows as a green as the connected. And then we are good to use for our Defender for endpoints. So even though you can check under the connector settings or if you want to go from here, we have two, three options. So you can use the setup Microsoft Defender for endpoints and you can use it from here as well. So my console is very slow, not sure why because of the internet or some other reason. But uh, once is the data is, uh, is uh, processed in backend and usually it takes some time. It's, it depends on your network or uh, the other things. But once it's done all those things, so uh, it's still it's showing this. So then uh, once you are the connector source uh, active, then you can utilize your the defender. So guys, this is the process. Okay, guys, uh, might it will take some time to pull the data and configure in the back end. And uh, so uh, we should not wait a long time. And once it's done, your the connector uh, unavailable status with shows as a green. Okay, if you need the more detail about the connectors, you can go to the, uh, the uh, your the dashboards and you can see the connector health here. So here uh, you can get the connector details as well. It shows all are active because that setting still has not populated uh, in the Intune console. So it's, it's processing in the back end. So if you go here and it's showing like a warning Microsoft Defender console, it's a warning time setup. But as I told, it will take some time to configure it. it still is, it's in a warning. And once it's done, you can see it in the green status. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I will be back soon in, in my the next video to show you how you can work on the Defender and how you can perform the task. Thank you guys. See you soon in my next video.